friends good afternoon and uh, today i'm going to be showing you a beautiful feature of the stock so that how do you uh, activate the multilex strategies uh, from the ame broker okay uh, now stock so as you know has two sides to it one is the passive bridge functions which uh, has been catering to ame broker mt4 ninja trader all of this which required a symbol mapping now the new way that we are going to be looking at so we have released the generic integration file for that and uh, you will find it in the description this is the uh, generic header file i'll show it to you i'll guide to you how you're supposed to be doing it so now let's say for example the first time when you're coming to the stock so and you wish to integrate or patch up the ame broker so the first step would be that you will go ahead and click on stock so okay and you'll click here on settings settings and plugins installation and on the ame broker now here and you will be able to find your database path like for example if you have a true data gdfl or whatever wherever they have configured their uh, databases it would be automatically fetched on restart in case you don't find it just restart the stock so it will pull up so close the ame broker close the stock so and restart it and the database path will will be fetched so it would be available for your easy selection even the installation path is automatically identified but still if you face any issue you can always search and you know uh, set across the path now all you have to do is go and click on configure the moment you click on configure a small pop up uh, would come up which would say that you know whether it's running uh, do you want it to close or not right now i'm not doing it as no because my uh, ame broker is running because i've set up things to show you but yes you will proceed with the yes and just in flick of seconds it would be done now how do you confirm that whether your ame broker or your stock so has been pat patched up so you will come here uh, and you will click on the analysis you will click on formula editor okay and all you have to do is just type in the ib when you see these functions that means your stock so and ame are patched okay so you really don't have to worry on this part and this confirms that we are good to go plus at the stock so we will also find a notification in the grid logs like this ame broker connected with the stock so bridge okay so now uh, this is how the first step is done of connecting or patching up your ame broker with the stock so okay so let's move further now about this particular video this is gonna be very interesting because this was uh, pretty much demanded by many people and they really wanted it that how do we do that so let me just clear up the portfolios which is already running it's already fired so now i went to a forum okay a generic forum a generic website i just googled up uh, like you know auto buy signal afl for example and i got this fi uh, site why stock trader or anything you know now these are like free open source afls we we don't know who is the father of it but yeah they are like very much open source and there are a lot of good strategies you might come across at times okay so for example uh, i just picked up this one so i'll click here on the blue window copy and paste friendly now this code is a generic code it is not integrated with the stock so it is not meant to fire up algorithmic trading but how do we convert that how do we do that we are gonna be looking at so now let's say for example i have copied this code now i'll go to the ame broker again analysis and formula editor okay when i open that i will just paste it here for example i think it's not copied let me copy it well i've copied it now and now i will just paste it so that's how the code has been pasted so you can see the section in now there is a small snippet five lines okay one two three four and five you know this much of line i will paste this line in the video description as well you can simply copy this line okay and all you have to do is come at the bottom and paste okay so this is like done now this uh, header file is integrated but we need to get this algobaba multi generic header file okay this afl has to be put in the include folder okay now for example let me say i'm naming it agb1 okay and i will say click on save so this is now saved that's how you would do it for your strategies generally most of the strategies should work fine if they have buy sell short cover well defined in case not then customization may be required and integration can be handled on one-to-one -one basis at certain 
commercial cost now but in most of the cases this is the generic thing because we have tried to uh, bring up the easiest way around with this so now when i have added this now the second step would be that i have to find this algobaba multi-leg generic header file again the description has the google drive link to download this that's how the file looks like okay now this file you just have to copy it and now where would you go you would simply come to this pc okay and uh, usually it is in c drive program files x86 we find a amy broker folder it can be in program files as well so wherever your uh, storage is okay or wherever it is installed you just have to click on amy broker you will click on formulas you will click on include do you see this that's how the folder is now the path also is something like this okay so either it would be like c program files you can remove the x86 bracket part and it would be simply available to you but yeah go through the right way and uh, the moment you come to the include you just have to paste the file i have already kept it pasted for you ready basically okay now we'll go back to the afl now this is how the afl looks like i've kept it ready for you moving on the bank nifty chart now the beauty here is guys that i don't need so none of the modules like you know with the symbol mapping is required signals order summary all of this is out of this when we are integrating with the multi-leg functions all we need is positions multi-leg so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just clear up so i'll go to settings settings and plugins i'll click on appearance for example just for your convenience i'm showing it to you you can have it all open that's your entirely your personal choice okay now for example the moment you see now i have very much you know cleared up my interface so i am seeing basically what i wish to see now for your convenience i have already kept my portfolios ready okay for example so i've kept my portfolios ready here okay now when you see that uh, like here i have added up a future as well as a pe like how do we create a portfolio you can create a portfolio so you, there are several uh, videos available that how do you create up a strategy here and you can have any strategy over but i have cr uh, created a portfolio with two two legs basically which has no uh, conditions like target stop loss but yeah i can give up like you know profit locking stop loss trailing lot of things can be given when it comes to the multi-leg so you can basically get the complete raw power of stocks over multi-leg options module with your amy broker signal clubbed you can edit a running portfolio you can add up legs like for example you wish to add up couple of more legs you can do that easily if you add up 100 lots or 1000 lots it is gonna automatically take care of your order slicing as well so there are a lot of advantage a lot of benefits that you get around when you're playing around with the stock so so for example i have kept in like 100 100 lots uh, uh, that's too much let me reduce it for now okay uh, let's say about 10 lots okay now here in at the buy also i'm doing the same thing now in the buy case what i've done is uh, i basically have kept a buy pe and sell future so that is entirely upon you what exactly you wish to do and uh, you can simply change that as well okay so that would be entirely your choice how you are working around it see i can change that easily okay uh, coming to the cell i will just change it yeah this is buy p and sell futures okay so i'm going ahead with two legs now this is how the portfolio is created we'll just click on verify api login live and start trading and this portfolio not to be enabled so you just have to create it and keep it ready for your convenience all right now I will come to the Amy broker. We are going to be doing a bar replay. Now, if you can see here, the moment I click on right click, I can see the parameters. In parameters, I will find this as auto tra uh, trading to be disabled. You just have to enable. Underlying symbol might be anything, but you can put across simple bank nifty, nifty, whatever way you want. Like it, it is going to work around with the same strategy if you want to. Okay. So whether it is a nifty chart or whether it is stock chart, you can simply do that. Now, this is the beauty here, guys understand that i have created two portfolios okay now this is how do we fire up our custom portfolios with the uh, stock so okay so this is how it is gonna be like i will click here on long portfolio for example custom and 
uh, I'm going to be entering the name that I've given to the portfolio. If you can remember, I have named it as buy and sell. Kept it very simple for you to remember. Okay. So you can see that I have entered. The same thing I've done is that short side. Whenever there is a short signal, you just have to activate my sell portfolio. Now, entry execution mode in between uh, uh, close of the candle, you can simply do that end of the candle. Whether you want to enable long trades uh, or short trades, that's entirely upon you. Uh, default strategy tag is something that controls in which account the order has to be fired. Like for example, I'll go back to the stock. So, and as you can see, you can have unlimited tags. Like if you're running a Nifty, if you're running a Bank Nifty, if you're if you're running up some segregated stock option strategies or some future strategies, you can simply create multiple tags if you want to. Okay, to define separate level of risk management to it. Like if I'm firing up all the signals from by the name of default, I can define a overall stop loss and overall profit as well so that is another advantage when i'm playing around because when you are working with the stock so you are working with a very advanced solution okay so now for example let's say this is default and this is the area that selects in which account the order has to be fired okay so if i have to fire in these two accounts as well along with sim i just have to take and click on apply that's all is needed okay so I have selected in which account the order will be fired and we are good to go. So now here and I'll change the product type to let's say MIS. If I want to give a combined profit, combined loss, target, leg SL, I can define lot size, SL to cost. I can do that start time, end time. Everything can be easily done here. You can simply select that. Now, moving to the bar replay area because right now we may not get a signal. So I'm just going into the bar replay. And uh, let's say since uh, 11th October, I've selected and the speed I've kept is two. Okay. So let's see at the multi-leg level. Now these portfolios are not enabled guys. Do you see? I've got a signal from Amy broker and it has executed my strategy. Let me reduce the speed so that we can enjoy some few moments with it. And uh, let's say you, you see the beautiful thing. That's how it is. You know, we are getting a beautiful PL here, every details, whatever I'm doing it. So basically, my custom option strategy can go live with any of the indicators that I might have over the trading view. So this is going to open up new horizons to trade because I don't think so. Any other bridge is going to offer you this kind of flexibilities that you enjoy with the stock. So and the advancement that we see around with the stock so now that is not all let's say you did not want to create a custom portfolio so let me first go and uh, stop this thing okay so now we will be looking at that if i have to fire up a predefined strategy now what exactly is a predefined strategy it's like you know uh, bear call spread bull put spread short straddle condor butterfly all of these you know the generic ones so what are you going to be doing now? You will come to the uh, parameters and I'm going to be removing the name here. Like for example, this buy I don't want, this sell I don't want. Okay. I will select now. Do you see that beautiful list? Long call, long put, short straddle. So let's say I'm saying I need to fire a bull call spread here. And when it is giving me a sell, I want to fire a bear put spread. Okay. For example. So now that's how i have selected it but i have not created any custom portfolio at the stock so because the previous ones were buy and sell right so we created that so now for example just to show you guys i'm deleting all the portfolios that i had okay let me square it off let me reset it let me pull it off and everything so everything is clean we have not made any portfolio here but we have defined in the parameters that I need a bull call spread and a bear put spread whenever the signal is coming up. So let's fire up the bar replay and let's see that how does the stock so behave when it has to. Okay. Now again, I have put it on two. Now we'll be seeing here. For example, let me clear up the logs as well, just to keep it clean so that you guys get to see. Now do you see it has automatically sent it a bear put spread. It has automatically selected the strike as per the uh, rule book and has fired a bear put spread automatically and whenever there is a buy coming up it will fire up my uh, bull put spread as well okay so that is the advantage that you get to see when you are working with the stock zone
So this time I'm gonna be selecting a uh, very simple like you know long call and long put for example. So let me just uh, reset it once okay or I can reset all okay I will click enable here just to keep bring up fresh you know. So let's say I'm selecting long call and long put here okay in the integration file. Now we have practically not created any uh, portfolio at the multi-leg level. Previously what I showed you was firing up the custom portfolios like you can use pyramiding and a lot, lot of features actually. Now uh, right now I'm just asking you to select the name okay and the multi-leg grid is absolutely clean. We don't have any strategy here okay. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to put across a bar replay and I will simply fire up the three speed and we will be exploring that how the portfolios are executed if you can see here see this beautiful thing you know it's moving uh one portfolio we got a signal of long call long put automatically the signal is falling in and it is taking care of my requirement okay now if you can see here automatically again we got a signal for the strategy we again got a moving portfolio so long call and long puts are automatically being made as i told you this is a beautiful module and i can control a uh, lot of risk management i can add, edit a running portfolio like you know if i'm running this portfolio and this is under execution and i wish to add a more leg to it i can do that okay uh, like for example one running quantity is there and i wish to add you know one more buy ce of uh, atm 200 so i can edit a running portfolio over my me broker signal and when the exit comes it will exit that portfolio as well so that is the advantage guys that we get to enjoy when we are playing with this multi-leg module of the Stockso and Amy Broker. Now, uh, not just that, let's say for example, there are so many signals falling in. Now on these overall signals that are coming in, I need to define one single uh, stop loss and target. Let's say I've defined 500 rupees of loss and 2000 rupees of profit. So the moment it reaches for all the signals that would have come, it would square up of all the portfolios that may have been fired. So you can play around with the futures, you can play around with the stock options, you can play around with the index options without the pain of, you know, getting into complexities of what exactly you're supposed to be firing. Now you can simply pick up a lot of ready-made strategies are available at this particular site. And plus there are a lot of uh, forums as well wherein you know these kind of open source AFL codes are available so you can simply copy that uh, add up the integration file and you are good to go so a lot more to explore and as we always tell you that you can do a lot of risk management over the stock so with the help of live trade simulator because all the trades that were fired right now were on simulators keeping you safe helping you analyze your logics better risk free because if your mind is clear and you are pretty much you know uh, not at negative or not at positive and you're not too much of involvement is there you can simply assess and make your strategies better explore more learn more all right guys stay tuned to the channel stay subscribed and a lot of new updates will be coming up just like always algo baba has always tried to deliver the best and thank you thank you for watching